I should probably also start out by saying Chegg is, is a university student based. So I am largely here as a general audience participant and like how do you define a general audience as distinct from a child centric audience. But I also sit on a lot of education technology ed tech panels and working groups and so I'm in a unique position to be able to acknowledge that it's really difficult to do that work without being responsible for doing that difficult work as a you know child focused provider. So I think it's important to just say it's a minefield and with the state laws coming out like it, it's not going to be easy. It's a roller coaster coming. How do you monitor all of that? Like, so one of the things I didn't discuss. Obviously, there's a lot of state laws that you know bills that are in the making. Different approaches. Um, people have to choose between bans on social media or parental consent or going another way. So how do you feel you deal with that? Yeah, that's a really good question and one that like I have weekly conversations with our privacy engineering team about because they, like, all technical people are right. Just just give us the answer, like what can I do, what can I do now, what can I do in a month, I'm planning for Q3, I'm planning for Q4, what does next year look like, why can't you tell us this earlier? And like, with, I think like part one is build a really good relationship so that they understand that they're getting the information that you have as soon as you have it available to give them. Um, step two is like, it's not going to fit in the spreadsheet, guys. And whatever it is that you can do to convince them that it's not going to uh, fit in a spreadsheet. And one, I've, I've been working with our privacy engineer for three years, like really closely, and he still doesn't understand why it fits and doesn't fit in a spreadsheet. Last time I pulled up a law like that had all of its bits put into a spreadsheet and I pulled up the NIST privacy pr framework and I'd like, look at these two things, right? Like I could do this for every single law that we're going to um, come across, whether or not it's going to be implemented, when it gets to legislative, like when do you want it? Does that make sense to you? Can you implement this? And we finally started to realize like that's not going to work. And so, like, the two parts of the question is, how do you find out about all of it? Yes. And how do you implement all of it? How do you find out about all of it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I put in a plug for Future Privacy Forum, which I, I actually spend a lot of time working with because they're the working groups, they're, they disseminate a lot of information. IPP, you guys are probably all aware of, does that as well. I simply cannot, like, my privacy team cannot be in all of the state legislatures all of the times trying to figure out what's going on. So. To be completely honest with you, I think that there is some value in acknowledging that you're not going to be on top of every state legislature. That's a losing battle. Figure out what you need to focus on that's going to be the broadest, most applicable. Go with that. Worry about perfection later. Too many of us in the industry worry about perfection and allow it to become the enemy of done, good, you know, anything that's approaching compliance.